Hello everyone, my name is Jumbo Pancake, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a holster for any Nerf pistol. You will need thin cardboard, a scissor, or a utility knife. I like to use both, but you can use either one. A marker or pen, a hot glue gun, duct tape, and the blaster you're making a holster for. The first step in making a Nerf holster is to measure the dimensions of your blaster so that it will fit perfectly. So a blaster has roughly four sides, two sides, top and bottom. So we're, for, we're gonna measure those. So line up the top of your blaster with the edge of the cardboard, take your pen or marker, and make a rough marking along the other end, like that. Then flip it over to the top of your blaster line the side of the top with the marking you just made and on the other side make a new marking. Then you're gonna put it back on the flat side line up the top with the edge of your marking that you just made and make another mark. And then finally take the top line it up with the mark you just made and make one last marking. After that you gotta figure out how deep you want your holster to be. I prefer my trigger to stick out of the holster just enough so I can quickly draw it. So this is about where I'm gonna want it. Then, at the end of your blaster, you'll make a mark. Like that. Then go somewhere else along the cardboard and make another mark just so you have two points of reference for the straightest line possible. You can set your blaster on the side. Now, Take your ruler and line up these two markings you just made, like that. Then take your marker and run it along the whole um, ruler, the whole way down, and make sure that it goes all the way to the end of where your holster is going to end, right here. Now you've made your markings, next we're going to cut. Cut along the top marking you just made and the side marking so that you get the piece of cardboard you're going to use for your holster. However, don't throw away the scraps, you're going to need these for the bottom later. But you can put it to the side for now. Once you've found a tightness you like, use a few small pieces of tape to hold the cardboard together so that you can take your pen or marker and mark along the edges of the cardboard so that you know where to line it up when you hot glue it later. Once you've made your marking, you can remove the tape. If it uh, tears up the cardboard a little bit, don't worry about it. We're going to cover this up later anyway. And you can throw those out. Now comes the hot gluing. Take your hot glue gun and move the cardboard so that the markings we just made are close to the other edge of the cardboard. Then, taking your hot glue gun, um, just below the lines, make a row of hot glue. Um, for your hot glue gun settings, I prefer to have mine at high just so that it um, takes a bit longer to cool, but low setting will work too. Then, line up the edge of your cardboard with those marks we made and hold it until it dries. After your glue has dried, we now need to make the bottom. Put your blaster into the holster just to make sure that it's the right shape when we put the glue. And then take some of your scrap from earlier and place the blaster on. Then take your pen and, I don't know if you can see this, mark around the edges of the holster, trying to be exact as you can, try to get all the little nooks and crannies and go all the way around, like that. You can take your blaster and holster off. Now you're going to cut this out. I prefer using the knife, but you can do it with a scissor. Once you've cut out your bottom, it's time to glue it on. Make sure that you put the glue on the same side of the holster as you made the markings on, or the bottom won't fit perfectly. So I marked with this side. You're going to take your hot glue and go all the way around the edges of this. And again, don't worry if it's messy, we'll clean it up later. Just 
go around. Then, quickly, so that the glue doesn't dry, line it up with the bottom of your holster, like that. And as you can see, it fits perfectly so that your holster won't be bulky. Now you just wait for it to dry. Next we're going to make the belt loops. If you're doing the leg holster, you're still going to need to do a step. Take a strip of duct tape, and uh, you can tear it or use your scissors for a cleaner cut and just snip it off. Then, fold it up so that you get one piece um, that's not sticky on either side. And cut it in half lengthwise. These are going to be your two belt loops. Now we just need to attach them to the holster itself. So take your duct tape and take a nice long strip that's going to wrap all the way around the holster. Take your two belt loops and place them on the holster where you want them to go. And then take your duct tape, place it on, and wrap it around. Then you're going to take another piece of duct tape, not as long this time, and you're going to put it on the top, like that. Make sure you leave a bit of slack in the belt loops so that you'll have an easier time putting your string or belt through them. And fold it in on the top to give it extra stability. Keep doing this until the belt loops are quite secure because the weight of your blaster is going to be on them. I put four strips of duct tape on the top and bottom and I also added another strip on these so that they would be more stable. Um, at this point it is a functional holster but I'm going to spice mine up a bit first and then I'll show you how to put it on. This is my finished holster. Um, I wrapped the whole thing in duct tape to give it a nice shine and then I added some paracord to uh, crisscross and give it some color and then punched some holes for texture. Now I'll show you how to put it on. There are two main ways you can put on your holster. One is the traditional belt method where you loop a belt through these two loops we just made and put it on like a belt. That works for some, but personally I find it's too cramped to draw, so I prefer the leg holster method. Um, if you have a belt like this, it's pretty easy to do. You tighten the belt onto your leg and then take the trailing end and tie it up onto a loop on your pants or onto your belt. Um, but if you don't have a belt like this, you can achieve the same thing with a piece of shoelace. Let me show you how. Making a leg holster using a piece of shoelace relies on one fundamental knot, the taut line hitch. So take one end of your shoelace and run it through these two loops. Like that. Then cross it over the other end of your string and then we're going to loop it under and over two times. So under and over once, and then under and over twice, and then on this other end of the string we're going to run it over, under around the top, and through this little loop we made. Now tighten it up to the best of your ability, like that. And now you have yourself a taut line hitch. So what's special about this knot is that it can be adjusted, but once you adjust it somewhere, it stays there. It doesn't tighten automatically like a slip knot. And this will enable you to tighten it to the correct tightness onto your leg without constricting your blood. So down here, I just tightened it onto my leg, not too tight that it cuts off circulation, but tight enough that it stays there. And up here, I just tied it onto a loop in my pants. The hammer shot stays in perfectly. It can go in and out very cleanly, and it works. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. It really helps me out. Um, comment down below with questions or feedback. And uh, thanks for watching.